हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जेंटलमैन कैडेट एकेडमी जी सी ए होप यू आर डूइंग गुड सो टुडे द वीडियो इज रिगार्डिंग द मोस्ट ट्रेंडी एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन द वर्ल्ड राइट नाउ एंड एज वी ऑल आर अवेयर दैट यू एस प्रेजिडेंशियल इलेक्शन रिजल्ट आर आउट एंड डोनल्ड ट्रम्प सिक्योर्ड अ विक्ट्री ओवर कमाला हैरिस सो नाउ दिस बिकम्स द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इफ यू आर गोइंग फॉर द एस एस बी एंड एवन इट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट दैन द टॉपिक्स लाइक ब्रिक्स सार्क एक्सेट्रा and questions related to this will be definitely asked in the personal interview whether you are going for army navy or the air force ssb and this is going to be the most important gd topic in the coming days and i still remember the time 8 years back in 2016 so when the us presidential elections results were out and i was in ssb allahabad it was day 2 and i remember my friends they all were running to the internet cafe to make some notes and as everyone was expecting it was our gd topic and the questions related to this was asked to almost every candidate the questions were like how trump regime is going to impact india us relations in the future so long story short it's a very very important topic if you're going for ssb in the coming days so like always without wasting any time let us discuss how trump 2.0 regime is going to impact india us relations So Donald Trump is set to become the 47th president of the US after securing a victory over Kamala Harris the Democratic candidate in the highly anticipated 2024 presidential election and this win marks a significant moment in American politics as he solidifies his return to the White House and sets the stage for his policies and leadership to once again shape the direction of the country and leaders from around the world congratulated Donald Trump on his victory in the presidential election Many expressed optimism for continued collaboration and strengthened bilateral ties across various sectors including trade, defense, climate change and international security and they also highlighted the importance of maintaining strong partnerships and navigating global challenges together during his second term in the office and PM Modi also congratulated Trump after his victory in the presidential election by posting on X that as you build on the successes of your previous term I look forward to renew our collaboration to further strengthen the India US comprehensive global and strategic partnership. Now let us discuss how Trump 2.0 regime is going to impact India US relations. So here is a deeper look into the potential impacts of Trump 2.0 on India US relations. So the very first area is the enhanced defense and strategic ties. A second Trump term could drive a push for India to purchase even more US defense equipment as during Trump's previous term also India acquired high tech US military assets like Apache helicopters and MH60 Romeo naval helicopters and Trump 2.0 might not only seek increased arms sales but could also support more technology transfers giving India access to advanced defense technology and this will help India to modernize its military as a counter to China's military advancement then also if we talk about the joint military exercises between both the countries like yuddha bhyas and malabar so under a second trump term these exercises could expand in scale frequency and scope potentially including more complex operations anti submarine warfare and cyber defense training and trump might even push for a more explicit role for india in the us led strategic frameworks in the indian ocean and the indo pacific regions and also greater support in international forum Trump has historically favored bilateral over multilateral agreements but he also showed support for allies like India in the organizations like United Nations and G20 and Trump 2.0 might see US support India's long standing goal of permanent seat in the United Nations Security Council aligning with both the countries interest in rebalancing global power structures then the second area is the economic and trade relations so Trump 2.0 could push for revised trade deals that reduce the US trade deficit with India as as america first policy may result in tariffs or stricter trade terms on imports from india particularly in textiles chemicals and machinery however india could benefit from the us attempt to shift supply chains for away from china potentially making it a preferred manufacturing and tech partner if negotiations balance out then talking about digital economy concessions so as digital services are a major component of india's export to the us So Trump's focus on data sovereignty might lead to negotiations on data storage, cybersecurity and digital taxation. So the Trump administration previously advocated for minimal restrictions on cross-border data flows, conflicting with India's focus on data localization. So these negotiations might challenge India to balance its economic and data security goals with the US policy expectations, especially if the US pushes to ensure its tech giants like Google and Facebook operate freely in India. 
then talking about medical and pharmaceutical trade so india is a significant supplier of generic drugs to the us trumps america first health policies which could push for a reduction in the dependence on foreign pharmaceuticals potentially impacting indian pharma exports However, during the COVID-19 pandemic, India-US partnership strengthened with India providing essential medicine and vaccines. So Trump 2.0 might support similar supply chain resilience by encouraging India as an alternative to China for critical goods. Then talking about the third area, immigration and the visa policies. So Trump has been known for his strict stance on immigration and preference for skilled immigration reforms which impacted the Indian workforce heavily. So if he reintroduces caps or prioritizes US-based hiring, This could lead to a significant reduction in the H-1B visas, which India's IT industry relies on. So the impact on Indian tech professionals could be substantial, affecting not only those working in the US, but also India's own outsourcing model and IT-driven economic growth. Then talking about green card processing and permanent residency. So Trump might continue policies that slow down green card processing times, impacting many Indians seeking long-term residence in the US. And this could create further backlogs affecting skilled Im- Indian immigrants, many of whom wait years due to their employment-based green card cap. And a second term could therefore see a pushback from Indian advocacy groups in the US who might lobby to protect Indian professionals' contributions to the American economy. Then moving to the fourth area, that is the geopolitical and regional security. So Trump has a history of pressuring Pakistan on counter-terrorism, which aligns with India's interest in minimizing cross-border terrorism. And Trump 2.0 could result in the continued U.S. pressure on Pakistan to curb support for terror groups operating in India. However, Trump's transactional approach might mean that U.S.-Pakistan relations could shift based on the situation in Afghanistan, potentially complicating India's regional security environment. And Trump also advocated for U.S. troop. And Trump also advocated for U.S. troop withdrawal from Afghanistan, and a second term might see a stronger push to limit U.S. intervention in the region. So with the Taliban now in power, Trump might maintain a minimal engagement policy, leaving India with security concerns regarding Taliban-led Afghanistan. So this could lead to India increasing its own influence and humanitarian aid in Afghanistan, seeking stability in its neighborhood without U.S. involvement. And finally, U.S. might provide India with intelligence, sharing maritime assets or surveillance support to counter China's growing influence along the line of actual control and the Indian Ocean. Then moving to the fifth area of energy and climate policy. So Trump's policy favoring the fossil fuel industry aligned with India's energy need as one of the world's fastest growing energy consumers. And Trump might promote more export of U.S. liquefied natural gas, that is LNG, and crude oil to India, potentially negotiating long-term deals that lock in India as a key buyer, diversifying India's energy sources and reducing reliance on Middle Eastern oil. Then in terms of climate cooperation gaps, so Trump's exit from the Paris Climate Agreement in the last term and a second term could also see US stepping back further from climate financing and emission reduction targets. And in terms of nuclear and energy partnerships, so the US-India civil nuclear deal was a milestone in energy cooperation and Trump 2.0 could look to expand nuclear energy ties supporting India's nuclear power ambitions and this could involve technology transfer, uranium sales or assistance in building more nuclear reactors, aligning with India's goal to diversify its energy mix for low carbon emissions. Then moving to the final area, that is the Indian diaspora influence and bilateral image. So Trump has recognized the influence of Indian diaspora in the US, especially in the states like Texas and New Jersey, where Indian Americans represent a substantial voter base. And events like Namaste Trump and Howdy Modi reflect Trump's acknowledgement of Indian Americans' culture and an economic impact. And Trump 2.0 could bring more outreach to the diaspora, focusing on symbolic gestures that strengthen Indian-American ties to India. Then finally, talking about the educational exchanges and workforce development. So Indian students make up a significant percentage of the foreign student population in US, especially in the STEM fields. And Trump 2.0 might impose more restrictions on optional practical training or work-study visas affecting Indian student post-graduation work options. And reduced access to these programs might lead Indian students to explore education opportunities in other countries impacting India-US educational exchange. So finally, in the conclusion, I can say that Trump 2.0 could present India with both significant opportunities and complex challenges. So on the positive side, the defense partnership between both the countries, especially in addressing China-related security concerns, is likely to deepen. And this would provide India with a more robust security framework and enhance its regional influence as both countries could strengthen military collaboration, intelligence sharing, and joint defense initiatives. 
However, economic relations under Trump, America first approach could shift toward a more transactional nature. Trump is likely to press India for trade concessions, potentially imposing tariffs or limiting market access for key sectors, while also pushing for stricter immigration policies that may affect the movement of Indian professionals and students in the US. And furthermore, while Trump's stance on energy and climate could bring opportunities in energy trade, it may also present challenges for India's environmental goals, as his administration focus on fossil fuels could limit green development cooperation. And overall, while the strategic dimensions of India-US relationship could flourish during a second Trump term, but India will need to navigate intense negotiations on trade, immigration and energy, with the result being a partnership that is both more closely aligned in some areas and more complex in others. So friends, this is all about the video and I think I have covered almost everything. As I mentioned in the starting that this is a very very important topic in the coming days. So I suggest you to watch this video at least 2-3 times. Make notes and prepare this topic in your own words. So until then, keep learning, keep preparing and keep watching. And I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you.